Now, if you're ever looking for a really summer, fruity themed cake, and you like strawberries, in this week's video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this ultimate strawberry cake. So the cake itself is strawberry flavored. We have strawberry buttercream. We have strawberries on the board and a giant fondant strawberry on the front. I've then finished the cake off with some strawberry sprinkles on the top. Now, I really hope you enjoy this video tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then don't forget you can subscribe to the Cakes Running YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. Now, for today's cake, I recently got these very strawberry sprinkles by Happy Sprinkles, and I just had to make a strawberry-inspired cake. Now, if we take a closer look, we just have these tiny little strawberries. We have these red and pink strands. We have these little tiny pieces that just look like bits of strawberry. Now, as well as the strawberry ones, you can also get some other fruity-themed sprinkles. So, this is their Tutti Fruity mix. So it's got pineapples, you've got mini bananas in there, there's lemons, the strawberries, and just such fun summer colors. There's also this lemon pie. So if you wanted to create a lemon themed cake, it has these small little lemon themed sprinkles. And lastly, we've got the banana split. And I just love how cute these tiny little bananas are. Now, if you want to use some of these sprinkles on your cake, I do actually have a 10% off voucher code for Happy Sprinkles. All you have to do is enter Happy Lins 10 at the checkout on their website or on the website of the cake decorating company. Now, I will put all the details in the description below. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually make my sponge cake. Now, for the base of my recipe, I am just using my vanilla sponge cake recipe, which I will put a link to in the description below. But I have added 25% more ingredients just to give me a slightly taller cake to add my strawberry on the front. So first of all, I've got 15 ounces or 425 grams of self-raising flour. To this, I'm gonna add 15 ounces or 425 grams of caster sugar. And I've got exactly the same amount of butter. Now for this one, I'm just using stalk. I'm then adding in five eggs. Now, instead of vanilla flavoring, I am gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of a strawberry flavoring to give me a little bit more flavoring. I'm also gonna be adding in 15 grams of freeze-dried diced strawberry. And the diced strawberry is just by Leo Licious. You then wanna mix this up either in your stand mixer or I've just grabbed my electric hand whisk. Now, I wanna make this cake really fun. So I'm gonna make the sponge cakes pink in color. So I'm gonna add in a small amount of the Color Splash Raspberry Food Gel. I'm then gonna divide my mixture up between two six inch cake tins. Now, my cake tins are around two and a half to three inches in height. So I'm gonna bake two cakes and then split these into two layers each to give me four layers for my cakes. Now, if your cake tins aren't as high, with this much mixture, you wanna put it into four tins or do it in two separate batches. I'm gonna pop these in my oven, which is set to 170 degrees Celsius for an hour. Okay, so my cakes that came out of the oven, I let them cool and I wrapped them in some cling film and popped them in the fridge for a few hours to make it easier for me to cut them. I'm then gonna level them just by firstly cutting that dome off the top. When I take off that cake, we have this really pretty pink inside and you can see all the little lumps of strawberry. Now I'm gonna take some of that caramelization just off the side so that we can see that pink. I'm then gonna trim my cake down so I get two slices. And I've done this to the other cake. So we end up with four separate slices that are just over an inch in height each. For the filling and covering of my cake, I'm gonna be using some American buttercream. So I've made a triple batch of my buttercream and I will put a link to the recipe in the description below. At this point, I've actually left out the flavoring. Now you could use the strawberry flavoring that we added into the cake. I'm actually gonna use some strawberry powder. So again, this is free dried strawberries and this has just been blitzed down into a really fine powder. Now I find by using Using this in buttercream, you get such an intense strawberry flavor, and it really helps color that buttercream a pinky red color. Now, this is also great in cakes. The reason that I chose not to use this in my cake today is 
because I really wanted to create a pink cake. Whereas I have found that if you use this in cake mixture, when you bake it, it loses its pink color and it does turn slightly brown. So I'm gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of my powder into my buttercream and just mix that through. So now that's ready, I'm gonna use this to fill a crumb coat and cover my cake. So I'm just starting with a thin layer of buttercream between each of my cake layers. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have a more detailed video where I show you how I feel and cover my cakes in buttercream. And I will link this in the description below. I'm gonna run around the edge with a thin crumb coat. Now, all a crumb coat is doing is locking in any loose crumbs that we have around the edge of the cake so that when we come to put our final coating of buttercream around the side, it just looks nice and smooth. I'm then gonna place my crumb coated cake in the fridge for around 15 to 20 minutes until that buttercream has firmed up so that we can add our final layer of buttercream around the outside. Now my cake has come out of the fridge and I'm going to apply my final coating of buttercream. Now for this I'm going to be using my acrylic discs today and I do have a video tutorial I made a few weeks ago showing in more detail how I use these discs. But if you didn't have any you could just use your scraper around the side to get your edges nice and smooth. I just love that by using that strawberry powder you can just see little flecks of strawberry throughout our buttercream. So I'm starting just by filling in the top and the bottom with my buttercream. I'm then adding the buttercream all over my cake, going roughly in with my scraping tool before filling in any gaps and then running it round just to completely smooth out those sides. Once you're happy with how that's looking, pop that into the fridge for that buttercream to firm up before I take off that top acrylic plate. Whilst the cake is in the fridge, I'm then gonna work on the decorations for the front. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our giant strawberry is first of all, I've got some fondant. Now I have colored these. So I've got a large ball, which is 110 grams of this red fondant. And I've colored this using the Sugar Flare Extra Red. I've got a small amount of the green. Now you only need around 20 grams. And I've colored this in the Leaf Green by Color Splash. And then I've got a small amount of yellow, which I've colored using the Sunflower by Color Splash. So each of these, I've just added a really tiny amount of Tylose powder, just so it will be a little bit more firm. I've then got some modeling tools, so ball tools and my Dresden tool, my craft knife, some edible glue. I've got some confectioner's glaze. I've got a small round cookie cutter, and this one measures around two inches across. And a large piping tip, which I'm just gonna use the circle end for. I've then got some edible tints, which I will run through as I add them onto my strawberry. So I'm gonna start with the large ball of red. Roll that into a ball until it's nice and smooth and we've got rid of any of those marks. I'm then gonna taper that down between the palm of my hands to get a slight cone shape. I then wanna flatten it down and enlarge it, but I wanna keep the top half quite rounded. So I'm gonna use the palm of my hand and just push on that bottom, just making sure that we're keeping that shape. I can then work on the top and we just wanna bring it out. I'm just gonna pull it out from the side. So as you can see, it's larger on this side. So we're trying to get it so it measures around three inches across the top and three and a half inches down. Now on the sides, I'm gonna push in slightly and on the top, I'm gonna push my thumb in and this is where the leaves will go. Now, the next thing to do is put in some little dips on our strawberry, which we're then gonna add some seeds into. Now, I'm gonna be using this modeling tool that's similar to a ball tool, but it's slightly curved over. So I'm using the smaller end. And just starting on the front, I'm gonna put in a little dip. I then wanna soften that with my finger. So I'm just pushing in over the top. And I'm gonna do a row of these. Now, when you have a look at a real strawberry, the seeds seem to be in kind of a diamond shape. So between my two dips, I'm gonna to come to the side and add them in, in the gaps. So I'm leaving about four millimeters between them. And you wanna do this all over your strawberry. So I'm even pushing them into the side I'm just making sure that I'm going back over and just softening those edges. 
Once they are all added in, we're then going to add in some colour. So I've got some red edible tint, and this one is by Sugar Flare. Then got some rose, which is just a lighter red, and also a small amount of black. I'm going to start with some of that red and just go in and start to brush this on. Now, strawberries aren't the same colour all over, so we're just trying to add some different shades and going in with some of that lighter rose. Now, in order to create some shadow, I'm going to mix a small amount of the black with that red. Just bring that up onto the side. Now, the next step, you can do this on your work surface. I'm just going to use a small piece of parchment paper. I've then got some confectioner's glaze, and this one is by Squire's Kitchen. And just brush this all over my strawberry. So it will make some of those colours just move around, but we'll still have all of the different shades just making sure that I'm getting into those dips that we created. Now, my biggest tip when using confectioner's glaze is as soon as you have finished, make sure that you wash your paintbrush straight away, just using some washing up liquid. Once it's dry, it becomes a lot harder to get off of your brushes. So whilst that's drying, I'm gonna start making the seeds. I've got just a small amount of yellow and I'm just gonna break off the smallest pieces, rolling these into a ball and tapering down on one side, give me a little seed shape. And we wanna make a seed for every single little dip that we created. So as you can see, I've got a little pile of seeds and I'm gonna use some edible glue onto my brush and just pick up those seeds pop those into those holes that we created. Looking at a strawberry, you want all the points to be pointing downwards. Now, if I have created any smaller ones, I'm gonna try and pop those towards the bottom. Once all of your seeds are on, there we have the body of the strawberry. So the last thing to do is create some leaves that are gonna go on the top. So I've got a small amount of green and I'm gonna roll this out. Until it's around a millimetre in thickness, I'm going to use a circle cutter. Now, the reason I've picked this circle cutter, the top of my strawberry is around three inches. So I want one that is slightly less. So this one is around two. So I'm going to cut out a circle. With the excess, I'm going to break off a small amount, roll that into a thin sausage, cut off a piece that's around a centimetre and a half slightly taper in the bottom. This is gonna be the stalk. You then want something that's slightly smaller than your disc. So I've just got a piping nozzle. And I just wanna pop a slight mark. Now, I don't wanna cut into it. I just wanna use it as a guide. I'm then gonna use my craft knife and just stick into that guide, cut in some leaf shapes. So I'm gonna work all the way around. Now, strawberries always look different, so there's no right or wrong way to do this. Now, I didn't mention my foam mat. Using my ball tool, just on the edges, just thin those out slightly, just so we lose that cut mark on the edge. I'm then gonna take a small amount of foliage green and also some apple green. So just doing the same as we did with the main part of our strawberry. I just wanna add some different shades. Flip that over and you wanna do exactly the same to the other side. So I'm gonna bring back in the main part of my strawberry, add some edible glue onto that dip that we made and just push that using my ball tool and make a really small little mark for adding in the little stalk that we had and using my dresden tool to fix that in place. Now with my ball tool and my dresden tool, I'm gonna add some shape to these leaves. So just turn in some of them up, have one hanging down on the front. And if any of them aren't holding their shape, you could just use a small piece of kitchen paper just to hold them in place until they've dried. There we have our strawberry. For my cake board, I'm using a 10 inch drum board and this one just measures a centimeter in height. I've covered this with some white fondant, which I've attached to my board with a small amount of water. Now I do have a video where I show in a lot more detail how I cover my boards in fondant. So I will put a link to this in the description below. Now you can leave your board plain. I'm actually gonna add some strawberry designs. So I've got the Tutti Frutti Element Set by Sweet Stamp using the small 
small round pickup pad, pick that up, which is going to turn it into a little stamp. Now, so that I don't add loads of strawberries where you're not going to see them, I've got a six inch cake board. So this is going to just work as a guide so I know where that cake is going to sit. I'm just using my dressing tool, draw around the edge. I can then use my strawberry stamp and I'm just gonna go around the edge, pushing in, going in different directions and having some come in off the edge of the board. Now, as well as the discount code for Happy Sprinkles, I do also have a 10% off code for a sweet stamp and this includes the Tutti Frutti Element set. So I will put all the details on how you can get 10% off in the description below. Now I'm going to start with the main part of my strawberry. So I'm using some of the edible art paint by Sweet Sticks and this is the red. I'm going to add in a few drops of white just to lighten it slightly. I'm then taking a small brush and I'm just painting in where we embossed those shapes. So just working my way around the cake board and this is just going to give a really fun little pattern to tie that cake board in with the rest of our cake. Green, I haven't got an edible paint so I'm gonna take some of the leaf green food gel by color splash mix in a tiny drop of the white and I'm gonna add a little drop of dipping solution just to make that into a runny paint and to also help it dry and then do exactly the same as I did for the red and just fill in all of those leaves now as well as the board this is a great technique that you could use on the side of a cake Lastly, to finish this off, I just need some yellow to colour in those seeds. So I'm using some of the Sunflower Yellow by Colour Splash. Now I'm adding in some of that white just until I get a pastel yellow as I do find that the food gels on their own are quite concentrated so they come out quite dark. I can then go in and paint over the top of those seeds. Once all of that has been painted in, I'm going to finish this off with a red satin ribbon. So I'm just sticking that down with some double sided tape. Here we have the strawberries on our cake board. Okay, so I've taken my cake out of the fridge and I'm just using a really small palette knife so that I can lift that off. I'm then going to use a small piece of the buttercream just to fix the top. I'm then going to do exactly the same around the bottom of my cake before carefully picking it up with my spatulas and transferring it onto that painted cake board that we've made. Now on the top of my cake I'm going to pipe a border around the edge. So to do this I'm going to be using the 1M piping tip which is just the open star tip. So I'm going to snip the end off of my piping bag and just pull that tight to the end. I can then fill my piping bag with the rest of my buttercream. Now I'm going to start at the back of my cake and just like I would if I was piping rosettes, I'm going to start from the centre and create a loop. I'm then going to bring my piping bag forward and do the next one. Now if you do need to stop piping, always make sure that your piping tip is at the bottom. This way we can then just join it up and you won't see that join. Now when we get to the last one, I'm just going to tuck the end of my piping bag into that last gap so that we have this continuous loop all the way around our cake. I'm going to be adding my Happy Sprinkles Very Strawberry Mix to the top of my cake but I just want to add in a few of the red choco balls and the reason for me doing this is I have used quite a lot of red on the cake and I think these go so well. Now once all of the sprinkles have been added the last thing to do is add our strawberry to the front. To attach this to my cake I'm just going to use some short bamboo skewers. And just remember how thick it is at the top so we don't want to come all the way through. I've then got one here which I'm just going to push in just a small way. I'm then going to apply a small amount of buttercream onto the back. If you're pushing this into a fondant covered cake you just want to add a little bit of edible glue. So here we have the finished strawberry themed cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and you'll be able to take bits from the tutorial and use them in your own cake decorating. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will alert you every time we upload a new video.
Now I will be putting a list of everything that I've used in today's videos and all the recipes in the description below so you can find them there. So until next time, bye!